Hey guys, welcome to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. I'm doing a series and the series is called What Makes This Singer Great? Uh, before we get started, if you wouldn't please like and subscribe my channel, that would be awesome. And don't forget to ring that bell uh, so that I can keep cool videos coming your way. And I also have a singing course and the singing course is called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else where we take all these different styles and these, the greatness of a lot of these different singers and we break it down in hopes to help make you a better singer for those that are interested. You can find it right here at KenTamplinVocalAcademy.com. Join my free singing forums and I just kind of kick the tires a little bit and see if it's right for you. So I want to do a vocal coach reaction to my cousin, Sammy Hagar. And, um, and, and again, the series is called What Makes This Singer Great? And as I've said multiple times, I don't think it's just about the actual singing of the singer, though we're going to get to that. But what do you think of when you think of this singer or this vocalist? So, you know, for me, I go way back with Sam, of course. And, um, you know, I think of early days, you know, Ronnie Montrose, right? Rock the Nation, Rock Candy, Bad Motor Scooter. Uh, you know, that was where he kind of first started out. And so you had this, again, fantastic guitar player he partnered with, Ronnie Montrose. And, uh, you know, he put his, his magical vocals around, right? And I think most people probably know of him through Van Halen, and I want to talk about that in a second. But let's not forget that Sam was a great songwriter before that, a great songwriter after that, and also wrote some great songs with Van Halen. But I want to juxtapose the two of Sammy and Van Halen because Van Hagar and original Van Halen are two completely different things. So we're going to touch on that in a second. But when I think also of Sam, I think of I Can't Drive 55, so kind of rallying the troops. It's kind of a political thing, and it worked, right? So 55 got raised across the country. Not sure if it was directly related to him, but uh, there was certainly that. Um, the other thing too is, you know, uh, the Rick Springsfield song. I've done everything for you. You've done nothing for me. Right? He wrote that. Um, think of him as the Red Rocker, of course, which is kind of not so much anymore. Uh, songs like, I fall in love again. Right? I did a, um, a vocal coach reaction to Sam, so I'll put that in the description. I sang a couple pieces and you see, all right, see how I did. And eventually I'll get around to singing some songs, probably Van Halen stuff. Um, but anyways, I think uh, Montrose. Um, now, let's talk about original Van Halen and when Sam joined the band, okay? The dichotomy of this and the interesting thing when I juxtapose the two is Sam was kind of a party band guy, you know, Ford truck, back of the trailer, having a good time, you know, middle America rock kind of guy. And Van Halen was a party band, you know, right? So they were both kind of in that party bandish sort of thing. And what's weird about it is when Sam joined Van Halen, it became much more of a corporate rock kind of sound. Now, my understanding is that there was actually more number one singles in Van Halen when Sam joined the band. So he definitely took it up a notch from the songwriting standpoint. But I think where people kind of can't quite put, get their arms around or brain around, put their finger on, um, what was the real difference? A lot of people blame Sam when is as, as great of a stage person as, as David Lee Roth or vice versa or whatever. David wasn't as great a singer as Sam. Let's kind of take a look at this and dissect it a little bit. If you take original Van Halen songs, and I'm a guitar player, it's my first instrument, I think of like Jamie's crying, right? Very guitar riff driven music, really. Think about drop dead legs, you know, you know, Spanish guitars, right? Think about um, drop, or I just said drop down, like think about beautiful girls, right? Everything or most all those songs, think about um, running with the devil, heavily guitar riff driven music. Then fast forward into the Van Hagar era, not so much, not so much at all. In fact, there was some, but for the most part, it was really song driven and pro um, production driven and whatnot. So it, the party band thing kind of went away and it became much more corporate. And uh, so that's kind of what I think of when I think of Van Halen. Now, the other thing I think about Sam, and Sam has always been a great businessman. So we're going to talk about his vocals. I put, you know, a little a song montage together. We'll get to that in a second. Talk about the actual singing. But, um, you know, early on, Sam had a uh, travel agency to rock stars. And he did very, very well at that. And then let's think about Cabo Wabo. You know, his business down in uh, Mexico, right? Even down to his concerts where, wait, just bring me a drink. You know, I mean, the whole set, the whole stage is Cabo Wabo, basically, right? Or has been for years. Um, so he drove traffic down there and created his own empire down uh, in Mexico. Um, another thing is 
his tequila line, or his alcohol line, I should say, uh, that he sold, I think, for $80 million. And if I'm not mistaken, he made more money on selling his alcohol brand um, than he has made money in the music business as an artist. That's kind of interesting. And of course, his restaurants, Cabo Wabo, and stuff that he's franchised and so forth. So, but anyway, so I wanted to get to kind of like what I think of when I think of Sam, and let's get to the music here and him as a singer. So here we go. <laughs> Okay, so I think of, you know, high range belting singing, you know, we think about, uh, you know, uh, and again, uh, we've talked about Van Halen songs, you know, when it's love, uh, why can't this be love, love comes walking in, pound cake, you know, different stuff like that. Uh, big high range vocals. Now, I think this is the highest range stuff that Sam has ever done or maybe ever will do was what he did in Van Halen and just did a fabulous job. And come on guys, let's be realistic about this. Very hard to step in to the boots of David Lee Roth, whether you like his voice or whatever or not, as an artist, he was quite the character, funny as heck, great front man and really uh, was a face for Van Halen. So um, I really want to kind of point that out too. And I'm going to do one on David Lee Ross soon and we'll talk about, you know, what he contributed to the band and then his uh, vocal prowess. But let's continue. Okay, so again, I think kind of a squeezed street singing, but great, kind of like almost in the Coverdale, you know, high range belting sort of thing, um, and a huge influence of mine. So anyway, guys, I'm doing this by request for the most part, so if you can tell me what you think of when you think of Sammy, uh, put it in the comments section. What did I miss? I wanna get this real, real well-rounded, uh, and I'm doing this mostly by request, gang, so if there's an artist that you want me to do, or a singer you want me to do, uh, please put that in the description as well, and check this out. We got another video coming your way.